people don't realize that when you do undergraduate research, you're not just working by yourself. You're going to be in dialogue with a faculty member, and that's a relationship that can be really beneficial intellectually and personally, um, and it can sort of spark your interest in what you want to do down the road. Um, so it's not just about the product, the creation of this new knowledge, although that's really interesting. It's also about sort of joining a conversation of people, not just sort of ideas out in space. It's talking with other people about things that are interesting. I would say if you're interested in pursuing undergraduate research, don't be afraid. Definitely don't be afraid. And don't be afraid to um, almost mentor date. Like, it's okay. Lots of people um, have a lot of anxiety about how do I ask somebody to help me with this? Or I have, you know, an, a seed of an idea, but I have no idea how this works in my discipline. I don't know what theoretical frameworks are out there. Um, that's the point of your mentor. They're supposed to help you with that. And I have not had an experience at Elon coming across a professor that is not at all interested in helping an undergraduate, whether it's, um, you know, just kind of providing input. They don't, you know, necessarily have time to take on a full-time person, but from most of my experience, they are almost always happy um, to take you on. I think one of the biggest challenges that I've heard from different people who are doing undergrad research is how to approach their professors. Uh, they'll talk about, oh, it feels like dating. And in fact, it's much worse than dating because it's um, a two-year, well, it could be a different length of time, but for me, it's a two-year commitment for this person that you have to um, enjoy their personality, uh, work similarly, have similar academic interests. Um, and so that can be really, really scary is to say, hey, I'm really interested in what you do. I want to do part of that or I want to do my own thing, but with you. Um, and so I would say start building those relationships early, if at all possible, if you know that you want to do undergrad research later on or if you know that you have to. Um, you know, find those professors that you really click with um, that are in the discipline you're interested in. Finding a mentor is like dating because there's you both want something at the end of the day. So um, I think most faculty at Elon get sort of some personal enjoyment out of mentoring students. They also get a kind of tangible, you know, money, credit hours, whatever, course release sort of thing. And students want to put together this project whether they're required to or they just really want to or some combination of the both. So you both want something. And then for this, at least on the student's part, there's kind of inherent awkwardness in asking somebody, will you please devote your time to me who doesn't know any Anything about anything. Um, so I think uh, that's part of it. And um, sometimes uh, with dating, I think you have to go through a couple people before you find the right one. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just makes it um, kind of awkward when you're like, I think you might be it, but I don't know. And so can we go out on a date and see if it's right? I would tell students that are interested in pursuing undergraduate research that you know, if you have a professor in mind or a faculty member in mind that you would like to partner with, just have that conversation with them. Don't be afraid of them. Um, I've had students approach me and I've had faculty members approach me and ask me about my research experience and they just, they make it seem like, oh my gosh, how did you do this? This is so unique. But really, you know, all it takes is a conversation. And often students are a little intimidated by faculty members, but students would be surprised to find out that faculty members are sometimes intimidated by their students. So if you have an interest, if you have something you're passionate about and something that you want to dig into further, and you have an idea of who you would like to work with, open the dialogue, just have that conversation with them, because you never know what they're going to say. And you have to be confident in who you are and confident in your abilities. And you'll be surprised who um, may gravitate to you and who may want to work with you.